Hey there guys, this is Ultra Grunt, and we are playing Sonic 3 The Challenges again. Um, been a little while since we recorded this, but um, yeah, we'll record some more finally. So, um, what did we do? Like Last time we did Bodyguard 1, and I think we did Tag Team 2, which is kind of odd because we didn't do Tag Team 1 or 3. So I'm trying to remember what I've done and what I haven't, but uh, we'll continue where I left off. I'm guessing Bodyguard 2 is where I left off, so uh, let's do that one. Oh yeah, Tails can lose rings and lives. There we go. Right, okay. Hydra City! This is not the one I was thinking it'd be. This could go multiple ways, this level. For one, I'm gonna have to keep Tails from drowning. Which is gonna be a challenge in itself. Um, there we go, that fixed him. Don't, don't jump on the spikes, Tails! I should have known that was going to happen. It always happens. Every single time I try to do that. Tails, where are you? And he's died because he was off screen for too long. So in that case, because it was more or less right away, I'm going to just restart that one. Gotta make sure it doesn't hit these spikes as well when we're going through these sections. That could cause problems. Let's reset his uh, air timer. Of course. Oh, Tails, don't hit that thing again. Uh-oh, he's gonna drown. Bubble, 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 bubble. There we go. It's kind of awkward, because that way it's like... It's kind of like when I was playing um, Sidekick earlier, and I was uh, controlling Tails. This was kind of similar to that, as if I'm playing with a delay now. <laughs> Because I need to make sure Tails doesn't drown. <laughs> or go off screen. Hopefully, he gets across here. And he did. And he also hit spikes. GG, Tails. And he hit spikes again. And now we can't go up the slope. <laughs> oh man. It's amazing AI sometimes in games. It does amazing things that make me laugh. Whether it's Sonic or Halo or Armor, I always get a laugh out of uh, the AI <laughs> somehow. <laughs> No tails. Come on, up here. Hit that. There we go. Jump. And onto the spring. Ooh, he almost got crushed. That could have been very bad for business if he got crushed then. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Um... <laughs> Knuckles can't jump high enough. It's too fat.
There we go, that wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Got an S rank! End of one. Doing well. Uh, okay, what? I don't know what happened there, but apparently it's just reset my save state. Huh. Gotta love save states. So good. So it's reloaded save states, trying to get us fixed, but um, only time will tell. I mean, it says we've got all these now, but who knows what the future holds. So, uh, we just did that one, so yeah, I'll come back to it and uh, fill that slot up again next time I'm playing this. Uh, but let's just continue on to Ring Drain. Sonic's been poisoned, and the more rings he collects, the faster they drain away. Beat the level while keeping your ring meter healthy. Tip, getting hit and losing your rings is a poor survival tactic, but you can recover if you're quick enough. Okay. Oh great, Marble Garden. I just realised the mouse was on screen for the entire time, I think. Okay, so I gotta keep rings. But I need to be careful with how many rings I have. Because otherwise Sonic has too many and then he, like, loses them faster or something like that. I can't go up because I've got tails. I should just do the level wrap and just uh, get around the level quicker. Careful, Sonic. Not too many rings. It's kind of interesting, though. As you can see, the rings aren't counting down one every second. They're counting down, like, slightly more than one every second. So I gotta keep it around 20 by the looks of things. That seems to be like sweet spot for this. Until I hit a porcupine. And now I'm gonna die. Because that's just how this game works. Well, let's restart that. Because it doesn't reset time, remember? I'm not gonna get lightning shields because it might give me more trouble than uh, help. Especially with uh, the ring counter being like it is. Okay, there's some slowdown then. Hope I've got nothing processed in the background or something. Could be causing some sort of lag. It keeps like stuttering every now and then. It's like um, it goes from 60 down to like 54 randomly on my frame counter. I don't know what's going on. To be honest, I really should, probably shouldn't even be using something as powerful as DX Tori with a an emulated Genesis game. But uh, here we are. Nope, I'm not gonna hit you again. I know what happened last time. Don't hit the spikes. I always forget which way is faster on this part. Some good timing on my part. Let's 
get some more rings desperately, though. Oh, no, why'd you have to be here? Well, I'm not going to get past that one. Oops. No, I want to go off of that one. There we go. It's done it again. And look, it's uh, reset my things again. Actually, I'm just wondering if it's acting like I've not got anything on because... I don't know. Let's try Ring Drain 2 then, in that case. Launch base zone. Oh, Act 2 as well. If I've got to fight Robotnik at the end of this, I'm done for. Especially with that part with Knuckles, where uh, you got to fly past him. Fly across the, um, the ocean for however long on this level. And this is a bad start. Well, it seems to not be... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of weird that it's sort of doing this. So what I've tried doing now is I've just tried to uh, over saving. I mean, saving over my last save to see if that fixes it. So uh, we'll see. So, let's see if this works. So, we'll do Ring Drain 2 again, because that's what we were doing last time. Wow, I'm getting stopped by this little slope thing here. Uh No. Try this again. This uh, stage just lags in general, even on the uh, actual Genesis it does. Really? I'm hit by the flying birdie thing. Nope. Whoa, I don't know what I did there. <laughs> Rings, please. That'll do. I just gotta be careful on this one, really, because of all the uh, enemies on uh, the enemies on the level, and also these flamethrower things. Yep. Yeah. Well, you see. With this one, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference where I start on the level, so I'm going to just try and continue from here. I've not lost all that much time, and it's not a super long level anyway, this one. Ah, uh, come on. Welp, not doing that one. And it's done it again, so I don't know guys. I might not be able to finish this. So what I'll do instead real quick is do this. I'll reload the game. And what I'll do from there is um, I'll play these ones. Because um, you can actually play all of them up to Final Battle 2, I think. Um, when you first start the game. You can just play any of the challenges once. So we'll just keep doing that. Right, so, because we just did that, we can, um, go into these other ones. As you can see, we can go up all the way up to, um, Final Battle 2. So I'm going to do is, I'm going to, um, play each of these once, and then that might have to be it, really, for this game, because unless I play it all in one sitting, I'm not going to be able to play them all. So I'm going to keep, um, a save state here, so I can just keep reloading from the new game and just, uh, playing these ones. So, here we go. Double team one. Sonic and Knuckles are teaming up again, and this time they're taking different routes. Press A to switch between Sonic on the top route and Knuckles on the bottom. Doing this costs 50 rings. If the route you're on starts heading back to the left, it's a good time to try the other one. 
Okay. That sounds interesting. Uh, Carnival Night Zone. Okay, so I've lost control of my um, my A button again because that's my um, that's my C button, which actually is the switch button again, like it was in um, Tag Team. Oh, sorry, my mouse is on screen again, and I've just messed that up because yeah. So now I can switch to Knuckles. Because I've got 50 rings, so... Let's find a good spot to do it. It says once you start going left to do it, so... Let's do it there. So now we're on Knuckles' part of the level. Uh-oh. I just want uh, Knuckles' level was a lot simpler and easier on this game. Uh oh. I know his uh, level in general is not very long. You can beat it in like 30 seconds or whatever. Without even really trying. I don't think I'm going to beat it this time, so I might um, just let the game time over. I'm at the boss, but I'm not going to have enough time to do it. Yep. <laughs> so let's try that one again. Because uh, it's kind of an interesting concept. It's like you're playing both levels at the same time. Or like both characters at the same time. Wow. I don't think I've ever... It's annoying when I kill that thing by accident. When I'm actually meaning to um, bounce off of him. So what I might do with this time is I might go further into level Sonic before I um, switch, so they can get like um, into a really good position for Knuckles. Can't believe how much I'm struggling with these things today. <laughs> I've never usually struggle with this level. At least that was the first act. Okay, I'm in roughly the same place as last time. So maybe if I'm quick, I can make this work. Because I don't need all that much time to kill that boss. Because that boss is a... Uh, Extremely well, easy. It's just more about just getting there in time. And I'm not gonna make it, so I'm gonna reset. I need to be quick with Sonic. I mess that up again. I'm just too good today. Sorry if my um, voice sounds a little bit off as well, because uh, I kind of got a cold. I won't try this one too many more times, but I know I can do this one. That's what's annoying me. And I keep messing up for this part. This part's so simple, but I keep messing it up. Oop. 
Maybe that's the way to do it. I don't actually know where Sonic is right now on the level. I don't remember this part of the level ever. Oh, I'm at the end for Sonic now, so... We can do this. We've got a lightning shield as well, which makes it even easier. Well, it does provide in... He actually hits the boss. I'll be annoyed if we lose now because the boss is just random with how it moves. There we go. E rank? I bet there's some super specific way you have to do it. So, once again, we'll reload and then do the second one. So, let's see what this one is on. Lava Reef Zone. This is uh, not the first level I've expected it to be. I think it'd probably be like... Um, I don't know, actually. One of the other ones is like um, Angel Island 2, but I guess that level's already been played on this, in this set of challenges. I don't know. There we go, that's better this time. Switch to Knuckles there. Seems to make sense because we started going left, so. I would love to do a, um, like a cover of some of the music from this game one day. Like I did with the uh, Fallout 3 theme song. Like, maybe do like a medley of um, Sonic 3 Knuckles songs. Because I think that'd be really cool. It'd be really fun, anyway, for me. I always hated Knuckles' path on this level. It's just so bad. Because it gets caught on everything, like, this lightest little bump in the road and it just seems to stop. Like that. Uh-oh. I've got to beat the bat boss in all this, uh, this quick time limit as well. I've not got enough rings to switch. I'd rather be Sonic for the boss. Because Sonic can jump higher. But I guess we're fighting him as Knuckles. Well done. No rings. We can do this. Whoa. Wow. 
Wow. Well, we know how that one goes anyway, so <laughs> we'll move on to the next one.